Welcome back foodies, Leo here, full-time foodie. Let's put in overtime this week. Listen, you guys gotta stop eating Panda Express and P.F. Chang's. They're like the Taco Bell of Chinese food. Actually, I think it was last year that I gave Panda Express a second chance because um, people were telling me that I didn't try the orange chicken and that was the one thing I had to try. So I went back and I tried it. There was like teeny little bits of chicken. It was like a massive ball of fried batter tossed in sauce. It was disgusting. It was trash. Terrible. Zero out of ten. I don't recommend it at all. What you have to do is find a really good American Chinese spot. Now down here in Orlando I've tried a dozen different spots and this is my favorite. It's called China Magic. It's over in Pine Hills. It also goes by Crime Hills because it has a bad stereotype. I don't pay attention to any of that. If there's good food there, you know I'm gonna stop by. I haven't cut my hair. I was actually sick last week with a sore throat, but I'm definitely feeling much better. Just showered. I guess, I don't know. I don't know if I should get a haircut. What do you think? Leave a comment down below if you think I should get a haircut or let it continue to grow. All right, so I ordered from the lunch special for $9, pork fried rice, an egg roll, and sesame chicken. We're gonna see how much chicken is actually in there. All right, let's go. All right, guys, I got the sesame chicken with fried rice, lunch special, egg roll, $9. Let's try this out. Let's start with the egg roll. Mmm. It actually has a beautiful crunch. I like the cabbage. Cabbage is done well. It has a little hint of the white pepper. It's usually added to it, and a little bit of char siu ground pork. You see that red pork that's in the fried rice? It's sort of similar uh, seasoning and marinade, but with ground pork. That's what goes into the pork egg rolls. I actually worked at a Chinese restaurant uh, when I was younger for, I think, about two years. I did deliveries, uh, I did a little bit of the grill, sometimes a fryer, and soups too, wonton soups. Just kind of serving it. I never really made the soup. I always asked the guy if he would teach me how to work the wok, but he always said that uh, he couldn't teach me because I don't speak Chinese, which now I think about it, it was kind of a bit, uh, not racist, but uh, discriminatory, right? I could, you know, he could still tell me what's what, and I could make it, but he didn't want to, basically. So um, I didn't really learn that way. I kind of learned more through home cooking, watching them doing stuff and then just recreating it and trial and error trial and error but i watching them you know you kind of see what uh, ingredients go in what so that's why i know that in the cabbage for the pork egg rolls they add white pepper do you struggle with cooking your protein don't you wish there was an easier way the solution is finally here with just meats just meats delivers 12 different options of meat already pre-cooked pre-seasoned and heats up in just two minutes Expert chefs season the meat, roast and smoke it, all prepared by hand. With the worst part being taken care of, you can focus on the easy stuff, sides. Right now, Just Meats is offering 35% off new subscriptions, plus an extra $10 off with our discount code, Hungry Polar Bear. What are you waiting for? All right, before we dive into the sesame chicken, I wanted to say, because I don't think a lot of my viewers know this, but I'm actually Chinese and Salvadorian. El Salvador is in Central America and my parents they divorced when I was uh, like a toddler so I grew up with my mother who's Hispanic so I speak fluent Spanish but I don't speak any Chinese at all and obviously I speak English too. <laughs> I know like a few words in uh, Mandarin but nothing really crazy to hold a conversation with someone. All right let's try this sesame chicken I've been waiting for it. I could already just go in, just putting my fork through it. I could tell that it is crunchy. So this is like chicken nuggets. They're uh, chicken thigh usually. And what they do is they put it in uh, a batter and then they fry it. So when you get this, this should be crunchy uh, because then after they fry it, they toss it in a sauce. So it's kind of like, um, how, how can I explain it? Like um, chicken tenders. Um, chicken wings, you know, the, the American equivalent would be that, where it's crunchy and it has sauce. So if you have, have this and it's soggy, that means they pre-make them way too far ahead of time and then they just microwave it right before tossing it in the sauce. 
so that's why it's it's not crunchy so those spots you want to stay away from because they're not frying it fresh all right let's try it super crunching you see the big chunk of meat here big chunk of chicken thigh you know these is done well this is crunchy has great flavor too mm. it's good slightly tangy a little bit sweet Perfect. I like the sesame seeds on there too. Mm. Love the crunch. Love that crunch. <laughs> Let's follow it up with some of this fried rice. Mm. Oh wow. Fried rice is amazing. Fried rice is 11 out of 10. Definitely. 100%. Ooh. It's got a lot of wok hay, which gives that smoky flavor that you like from Chinese fried rice. The char siu pork is tender, and I love when they add onions. Only thing I don't see in uh, this fried rice is egg, which is all right. But I do enjoy egg in my fried rice. This is one of the best fried rice that I've had down here in Orlando. It's really good. This is my go-to spot. All right, guys, you really need to find a local spot for American Chinese food. If you're in Orlando, China Magic is it. I've had the beef and broccoli here, and the sesame chicken, the egg foo young is great too. They have a great sauce. It's very delicious. Um, cheese wontons, we didn't really like too much. But the chicken wings were really good too. Got some of you to try. It has kind of like a curry flavor to it. All right, we'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to eat, drink, and be merry.